China deploys J-20 stealth jet fighter, names India as threat. With China's Air Force deploying its latest stealth jet fighter, the J-20 Chengdu, one of the provocations could be the Indian Air Force IAF, deployment of its top-of-the-line Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter in Assam, near the disputed Sino-India border. The English-language website China Military Online, an official People's Liberation Army PLA, news outlet, quoted an expert to state on Monday that the J-20 has been urgently operational east because of the threat posed by the US, Japan, South Korea and India. This is perhaps the most authoritative portrayal so far of Indian air power as a threat to China. China Military Online states it is authorized by the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China PRC, and sponsored by the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA, daily. The J-20, which is China's first stealth fighter, made its maiden flight in 2011. It was first unveiled at China's Zhuhai Air Show in 2016 and began delivery to the PLOF in March 2017. Assuming it has no major flaws, this is an incredibly fast development trajectory, especially compared to the American F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter. On February 9, an official statement on the Weibo account of the PLA Air Force PLOF, had revealed that the J-20 had been deployed with combat units. Meanwhile, China is developing a second stealth fighter, the FC-31, which will fly off PLA Navy aircraft carriers. Beijing also hopes to target the international market with the FC-31. The J-20 is a twin-engine, multi-role fighter that has an exceptionally long range and can fly faster than 2,000 km per hour. Its radar scattering airframe, constructed from advanced, radar absorbing materials makes it hard to detect at long ranges. In wartime, experts assess that the PLOF would use the J-20 to strike enemy force multiplier aircraft like refueling tankers, reconnaissance aircraft, and airborne command posts. Alternatively, it could be used for stealth strikes, slipping past enemy radars to attack high-value targets, warships, or communication facilities. While the J-20 is unquestionably the PLOF's most advanced fighter, aerospace experts also point to significant weaknesses. The South China Morning Post, a reputed Hong Kong newspaper, has reported that China is still struggling to develop the CNWS-15 engines, codenamed EME, that the J-20 was built to fly with. As a stopgap, the J-20 is flying with the less powerful WS-10B Taehang engine, compromising its performance. Mirroring India's struggles with the Kaveri engine, Chinese scientists have failed to crack the challenge of developing single crystal turbine blades that can withstand the extreme temperatures in the combustion chamber of a high-performance fighter. The post concluded that the J-20 would only enter mass production when the WS-15 is performing suitably, which could take as long as eight years. Meanwhile, the US Air Force has begun deploying the F-35 in Japan's Kadena Air Base. Japan, which has a F-35 production plant in-country, has 42 F-35S on order. South Korea will get its first F-35S this year, with 40 due to be delivered by 2021. Singapore too seems likely to opt for the F-35. Experts believe this rising threat might have rushed Beijing into prematurely introducing the J-20 into service.